was real young Her best friend is a skinhead chick She knows an Asian boy named Yick Caitlyn, she is very chic But I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike And I am still in love with that girl named Spike I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike You're listening to the... <clears throat> You're listening ah. to the I'm in love with a girl named Spike a Degrassi podcast. I'm your host, Mike Park, along with my co-host, Hannah Eagle. Hello. And Rick Johnson. Hello. Episode 210, a two-parter. This is part one, Death or Glory. This Death or Glory. I don't know who sings it. What? Death or Glory. Death or Glory. Just another story? Yeah. Hannah's got it. Who is Flash? it? Flash? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. The first time. Hannah. Damn it. Did you look what it up? Album? I did not look that up. I actually used to like listen to the Clash and dance around in high school. That was like one thing. Is this on Combat Rock? What is, no, what is it's this? on London Calling. Come on. Death of Glory. That's what it sounds like. I'm embarrassed. I didn't know that. My God. That's and terrible. I knew it. That's awesome. I'm stoked. Dan P and I listened to Combat Rock the other day. It's great. People hate that record. Why don't they like the record? I don't know. It's got some weird songs on it, but overpowered by yeah. funk, I think, is what turns people off. Yeah. But Lenny <laughs> Clawling is a flawless record. Agreed. Do you agree? Well, Black Market Clash. Agree. That's uh, also a great re- record. 10 inch? I don't know. Yeah, it has that Toots cover that I thought was an original. <laughs> when when you heard it for the first time yeah when i was in high school i'm like oh well ska i was really excited yeah. gosh darn it there's mosquitoes in this room oh well if i get bit i get bit and i will get bit because what if you get west nile i don't think i will but you could mm. really yeah i don't know yeah, is it probably. going around it's always going around Do you have west nile th- virus in california not that i've heard of i haven't heard any issues of creates people. The neurological problems i don't want that <laughs> i don't oh, want that look La- La- black that. raspberry black raspberry you don't want neurological problems i don't do you like sparkling water hannah you know what's funny? I hated it until, so I never tried it. I tried it once in like high school. I hated it. But this year I tried it again. Kind of liked it. Would Not you have like five. Clearly Canadian? New York yeah, like, Seltzer? La Croix, bro. La Croix, bro. I'm talking about when Hannah was in high school. It was yeah. probably like a Wegmans brand mm, Wegmans. club soda, you know? Fun fact about my family, Hannah. They own Perrier? No. My grandfather's girlfriend's son is the person that brought alcohol into Wegmans. Wow, he's a true like hero, change maker, yeah. risk taker. Yeah, is he is he rich, wealthy? He's dead. I know, but is his estate wealthy? No. Hmm. Is there an heir to his fortune? No. no. Hmm. Hannah, who's John Walsh? John Walsh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He hosted a show. A reality show about true crime called America's Most Wanted. Oh. His son was okay. the person that got murdered, right? Adam Walsh. Brandon Walsh. Oh, Adam Walsh. Adam Walsh. Did you know that if a, there's a lost child in a store, they call it a code Adam? For oh, that. because of him. Mm-hmm. And you're supposed wow. to drop everything you're doing as an employee and find that child. Damn. That's good. That's good. I've never heard it happen. I'm glad I've never experienced it live. I've only but... experienced it once, and the kid was in a ball pit at Toys R Us. Where was that at? Mm. Oh, Toys, Toys R Us has ball pits? No. Or they they did? No. It was then just we'll... a display ball, ball pit. Of the giant balls? Like the balls that are like... Yeah. Oh, like I see. The size of a mean. volleyball. Yeah, it was like the those cages yeah. that hold yeah. all the balls. It was yeah, just like, I, ah! I have for sure climbed into that. As an adult? 
Not as an adult, but I wouldn't be opposed. Hannah's Seems like tiny. I want to work as an adult. Yeah, I could do it. Death or Glory. I love this two-parter. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Love it's, it. It's too good. Start is, it, it off. is it bad of me that I don't like the B plot? Test the testicular cancer or Darcy's problems? Darcy's Darcy's problems. I mean, yeah, it's it's yes. not Spinner's the A plot. Yeah. Yeah. Spin- you're right. Spinner gets an A and a B plot, and Darcy is relegated to the C plot. How's that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But her in the part two is—is is that what happens in part two? I forget. Is she goes is nuts. part is part two with Snake? I'm not sure. That might be like an episode or two from now. Okay, let's let's go back to old school style. Start it off from the beginning here. Oh yeah, true. We were, we got really off <laughs> subject so fast. <laughs> we haven't even started talking about. Started that. talking okay. about the clash. That's what I happens. know, and then hop, skip, and a jump. Um, the school's insane. There's like way too many kids everywhere. We see some new students. Um, the gang of boys has really come into their own. Um, you can see them in Mike's thing if you're looking at us, and if you're not looking at us, they're all yeah. kind of colors and and you know. Yeah, if you're not looking at us, they're all dressed in black and ready to rumble. Yeah. Uh-huh. But there's a there's a little person that's part of their crew. Yes. You have I'd love to know more about him. Mia's baby daddy, the moose guy, uh Johnny. Wait, Mangione, who's Mia's baby daddy? The one dude with the little weird goatee. You and I know that, Mike. Rick doesn't Rick know. Rick doesn't that. know that. Um, so that the kid with the uh Jersey Shore hair is the dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh Bad what's choice, John, Mia. What's Bad Johnny's cho- name? Johnny, Johnny DeMarco. Johnny Tsunami. Johnny, De, Johnny DeMarco. Uh, Sideshow Mel. And then there's a little person. I know. I'd love, I'd love to know more about him. I don't think we ever see him again. I'm, and they're I'm, in the cafeteria. And there's a like a pretty girl that walks by. And the little guy like, kind of points at her and goes, and points to Sideshow Bob and goes, let's go. And mm-hmm. they walk off towards him. And now yeah. the, the rest of them are picking on Toby. I just took your part. I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. They really are picking on Toby so much this episode. I was like, wow, Toby's pathetic. He is, man. I, he was all, like, the beginning of the season, Toby was all, like, ready to go, Hulk, just Hulk out. He was not afraid. I thought he was going to be like, okay, this is his breakout season. He's just going to start throwing fists. Yeah. Yeah. No. He should have started working out or something because he really just gets the shit kicked out of him every single day. What about weak. what about when Spinner stops the punch? Oh my god, oh my it's amazing. God. He and he holds on to it for so long. Holy shit. I would stop what you're doing right now and look at uh, Johnny DeMarco's face. No, look at I'm gonna send something to the group chat. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh Mia's baby's baby daddy's um, Mia's baby's baby daddy looks wild now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he does not look normal. Oh, in, in 2022. Yeah, he is. I'm not gonna bald head, gonna crazy bald head, just ripped. I gotta. He see looks this. like he's in like the Prodigy or something. There's a yeah, yeah. There's a character named Bruce the Moose. Yeah, that's the big guy. With no. the hat. Yeah. The, the, with, the with the hat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The big guy. I this assume. Is the big guy. Yeah, that's Unless the, the moose. moose is the guy with the big hair. I'm pretty sure Moose is the big guy. Did I don't you know. Send it? The little person is uncredited then. Oh, whoops. Is he ever in it again, though? The little person? It seems like such a waste because I would have loved to have known more about him and like they've never before or since had a character that was a little person. I feel like that would be great. That's that's true. In the entire history of Degrassi, not once. As far as I can tell, this is the first appearance of a little person. Very and interesting. He's gone. He's gone. If you're just... Johnny, if you're Johnny DeMarco and you right. go to punch somebody in the face, and that mm-hmm. person just grabs your hand. Just straight up 
stops the punch with your hand Mm -hmm. you just you're not messing with that person anymore no exactly i think he should have like pissed his pants like fallen over he likes to fight mess with him again yeah and then later in the episode when spinner just fucking rails him in the face and johnny demarco's reaction is come back you coward after he fully was like knocked out yeah he was on the ground for like five minutes and so finally spinner left and then he was like go ahead walk away you coward gotta give him credit for the the ballsy he's ready to take a licking over and over again he likes to fight he's a fighter yeah what i don't understand is okay so hotzalagas has allowed all these bad kids into the school yeah yet she doesn't care about them at all and only cares about the degrassi kids she's only like holding the degrassi kids responsible yeah does she look younger now? She, I feel like she looks younger in this season than the other seasons. Yeah, she's done she, something with her she, hair. She, she changed yeah, her think, hair. Yeah, she got it. She, she's not a. Uh, it's not like layered or anything. Feathered. It's, it's a better like, hairstyle. I think she maybe she's doing her makeup differently. She looks younger and more um, appealing. Hmm. More appealing. What is? What does she say? What does Miss Hotsalaka say to Jane when Jane walks by? She looks angry at Jane. She's like, you're late. And Spinner's like, she is going to be on the Peacemakers team or whatever Miss Hotsalaka is like. I also like when she's like, Spinner, what is our school's tolerance on violence? And he was like, keep it to a minimum. <laughs> Which he did, he did do. I know. He caught somebody's fist in his hand. He did. He really, he's like, I de-escalated it. Oh yeah, he did. I'm not. Uh, I'm not super keen on Jane thus far. I, I, I feel think like she's fun. Why are you yawning? It's it's just, is it, Oh, it is midnight. Tw- um, I kind of like her, but I don't think it's cool when she ball taps Spinner. I think it's like very bizarre. Not that she doesn't know that his like testicle is gonna explode at any minute, but. Well, besides that, let's look at the spinner, the women in Spinner's life, starting with Terry. Terry, Paige, Manny. Um, Darcy. 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 Annie, Paige. There's got to be more. I feel like he's done. And then Paige slipped in there again. Yeah. And then there there was the other, the mystery girl that he slept with over the summer that he lost his virginity to. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But what's strictly Degrassi? Do you, he go? How do we know that person is not yet. Degrassi? Yeah, he it wasn't Degrassi. Fine. It was a Lakehurst. it was a Lakehurst. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or Borden was it Borden? It could have been. No, he can't afford to go out of town. I don't know. Maybe it was Borden Degrassi. wasn't out of town. Borden got money. Borden's the school that the original high school. Yeah. Wait, wait. High. You know what's fucked up is they should have used Borden. Why do they got to use Lakehurst? You're, you're very right. Yeah. Fucking Linda Schuyler. Sloppy writing. He didn't go out with Hazel. He didn't go out with. No. Uh, well, he goes out with Emma later. Uh, but up to this point, no. Not Ellie, right? No Ellie. No Ashley. No. That's got to be it, right? That's no. It. Okay. It's Terry, Paige, Manny, which can, and Darcy. Which we're going to count Terry. Yeah, we're going to count Terry. Terry's the first. Mm-hmm. He loved her. In that Wait. Person. He didn't go out with Terry. He just danced with her once. He didn't even well, dance he, with her. He, he liked her. for a little. <laughs> he, they, they kissed. Oh, well, they didn't. She threw up on him, I think. Or something. She did. She, they she didn't get that far because Paige caused caused her to get drunk. Yeah, God, the good old days. Yeah, the good honestly, old days. Honestly, just hiking that skirt up higher on Terry. Yeah. God, oh, evil, evil, evil. But she evil. got what she wanted. She did. Spinner. Spinner. <laughs> yeah. Once again, 
Rick, what is uh, Darcy and Miss Sauvet talking about? What's their meeting about? She brings her flowers. Darcy so brings Darcy's flowers. basically trying to weasel her way out of therapy because she's claiming that she wasn't trying to kill herself. She was just really <laughs> sad. sad. <laughs> Which also, like, it doesn't explain anything. Like, if you're Miss Sauvé, you'll be like, you fucking idiot. Like, yeah, you can't say, I wasn't trying to kill myself, I was just sad. It's like, yeah, but... What does Miss Sauvé say, though? She's like, okay, we can bump it down to, like, once a week, <laughs> right? She's also like, that kind of sad doesn't go away. You're... I, I'm also like, Sauvé, you're a bad therapist. You should not <laughs> don't be giving these kids advice she's, she's just a guidance counselor at the end of the day yeah you don't think she's a cr- accredited therapist well she's probably an accredited therapist but what hannah is saying is she's just a guidance counselor yeah <laughs> she's not they well i don't think they know that darcy needs so much help but you know she's worked miracles she fixed she helped ellie she helped Paige. maybe it's maybe i'm wrong did she help ellie and did she help Paige? Yeah, she set Ellie up with the rubber bands. (laughs) And she got Uh, paid to press charges against Dean. And then she was like, see you in a year. Yeah. What's what's Miss Sauvé's arc on Degrassi? Does she make it through all 14 seasons as the guidance counselor? I want to Or better question, is she in the Drake video? I've never seen the Drake video. Why are you yawning? I've worked like eighteen hour day today. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yawn. Follow, followed up by <laughs> Hannah yawning. That spinner is ripped. They're just lifting oh my God. Jim. He's is the hottest he's ever been. He's ripped. Jimmy's <sighs> shredded. Jimmy's probably jealous of Spinner. Jimmy yeah. is not jealous because Jimmy is also ripped. And is he? They don't show his bicep mm. like Spinner. Spinner yeah. has the uh, sleeveless shirt, and he's doing some kicks, and then he hurts his the groin area. Is right. It, it looks pain. like it hurts so bad. Also, Jimmy is about to touch Spinner's groin. Also, miss subplot. You think when when did, what right what right here talking? in the weight room? He's like he's like Doctor Jimmy's in <laughs> in a. In a pickle it, now. Yeah, Dr. Jimmy's in session or something like that. And what was he going to do? What did he suggest? Touch his fucking groin. He, he, want, he's, also... he wanted yes. to massage it out, honestly? Yeah. Yes. Play it. Play it. I'm not set up. I'm not at work. I can't. Ever, my wife's asleep right now. Okay, I can't blast. Are you true. potting from the bedroom? I'm in the living room. Monica's in the bedroom. Oh. My my dead dog is getting uh, ashes. Probably in the incinerator. I think tomorrow. I'm to sorry, Mike. His ashes. I'm sorry, you, Mike. You didn't care. I I'm smiling because I when I get nervous I smile. I didn't I didn't hear you guys say anything at the beginning of this podcast. Yes, we did. Well, Not we said it to you in private. Yeah. We well, didn't know we were private. talking about that on the air. Jonah was a good I dog. Thought, you never met Jonah. I did. You did? When? I've been over to your house multiple when, times. When did you come over? I don't remember you coming over. I you picked up the van multiple night, times. Let's see. Yeah. I picked really? up the van. I've picked you up at your house. What for? I think Sharkadoid rented or borrowed your van. Oh, Mustard Plug did. And Mustard Plug did Shark- too. Sh- yeah. Sharkanoid too. Oh. Oh man, I don't know. I could probably get to your house. I wouldn't doubt that. Some people have that gift of sense of direction. I don't have also, that I think Jeff did something where we ended up at your house too. So you've met this dog. I met Jonah. Yeah. Not My me. dead dog. But RIP though. That's sad. How old was your dog? Eleven. Oof. That's love her. 
just crying. Oh, that's not, that's all I know. Yeah. Just, uh, uh. How's Moses doing? He was crying. He was doing like the quiet cry. He was like, <laughs> oh. And then I was just like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> just not coming out, just blowing my nose. My wife had been crying for like a good two weeks. Did um, oh, God. did uh, you have to take it to the vet? Or no, did we you... we paid the big money and had someone come here. Yeah, it's like it's like a really like a fan. We did the fancy death. Yeah. Detail. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Mike. You get to you get to spend time, and they that's they the, give that's the, nice. the dog morphine, and you get to just watch him die. And spend you get to say, okay, like we're ready. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's that's nice. It, it, it is. It was. It was nice. It sucks. There's no other way around it. It sucks. Yeah. So many people have been reaching out. Not you two, but other people have been reaching oh out. They're <laughs> There's, you know, sympathy and cards. Did. I didn't get a card from you. Well, maybe, got, maybe, maybe, maybe it's good in the mail. Yeah. Got one from Jake Garonic from your band. No, a you did. Card? No, I was joking. Oh, I was going to say, I, I don't he's think a he really great guy, like though. That. He could do that. Yeah. It, it takes like eight days for a letter to get to Los Gatos. It's true. Not, a, not if you overnight it. You know, like a true friend would. Like a little sympathy card. Maybe like an Amazon gift card. Those come in one day and you can add a note to it. Oh. There's a lot you could do, but it's cool. You're right. Well, I can't do it now because you already told me not to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not, ex- it's not like I'm expecting anything. I'm not. I feel like you are. I feel like you are, though. Yeah. You want but, us to get, do you, do you need an Olive Garden gift card? A text would have been nice, though. I, well, that's what you got. Yeah. After. After I told you my dog died, how are we supposed, to know? We supposed to know? I think we were, the, we, we were on the ground floor. We were at ground zero of this. <laughs> dog Liberty, Liberty is a babe right now. I think. I think. I remember like meeting some kids oh, like in the two thousands on tour, like talking about Degrassi, and me telling them like I thought Liberty was a babe, and they're like, "Oh, really?" Like they weren't into Liberty, and I'm like, no, she is. But there looking at is. Liberty in season seven, she is a babe. Yeah, she, she like is. this is the best she's looked in Degrassi. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, I, did, I think she continues to look good. To this day. good we'll, now, yeah, we'll see how many seasons she go. I don't know how long she lasts, but she looks. Yeah, she looks. She looks great. She's confident. She's especially not, for, she especially for having. Having a baby, she looks she great. Seems little, she seems wound a little tight. <laughs> I, Mike, I'm gonna say something. What's she that? Did. I'm gonna break some news to you. I well, don't think the same thing. <laughs> it's Liberty, not make believe, is it? Liberty did he not actually have a baby. Really have a baby? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, I and saw it. I watched it. Season, yeah. season. But I, uh, there is five. good news. Spinner does not really have testicular cancer. That we know of. Maybe that we know actually, of. Maybe we should have asked them. Mm-hmm. How excited would you when Danny came running into? Oh no, Derek comes running into Peace Club. Love it. Liberty, let's go. What does he say? Danny's about to get in a fight. Liberty's gonna be in a fight. Does he say it that fast? He, he says it that fast. Out? It had to have taken them like ten minutes to get to where Danny was, and they were still in the sh- playful shoving phase of that fight. So when he comes in and tells the Peace Club. In the background, you just see kids running, yeah, running towards the fight. Man, Danny is not faring well against uh, Mia's he baby daddy. Gonna he get was Mita. he was not backing down though. Yeah, yeah, but he was gonna get his ass taken yes. to him by the prodigy guy. But at least we see him sticking up for himself, whereas wherever we see Toby getting bullied, he's just taking it. Yeah, well, but I, Toby couldn't. I, Toby knows he can't do anything. Yes, so I love when Liberty hulks out though and just starts punching Baby Daddy. I gotta learn his name. I don't do I. I don't like him at all. I don't know his name. I know his name. 
I forgot it. I'll find it. I'm trying to. He's got to listen to. He's listening to Kurt. corn. Yes. What do you think? Hell corn yeah. for sure. Hell yeah, he's definitely listening to corn. So Spinner has another flare up, and he is kind of buckling over on one side. He's about to fight, baby daddy. How does he get out of that fight? So um, he walks up. Who? Um, uh, Otsalakis walks up. Sorry. Yeah, and Jimmy sure? comes up and he goes, "Hey, gladiators! Otsalakis is coming in thirty seconds. Time to go." Uh, the baby daddy's name is Lucas Valeri. Yes, but you know how I I just googled it as well, but I kind of was t- listening to you guys, so I wasn't paying attention to what I was typing. I just typed in Mia's baby daddy. And Did it, it come was up? The first thing. <laughs> <laughs> click, click on images. Click on images. <laughs> You gotta see what he looks like now. It's wild. Oh, is it on. not a good look or is it a good look? It is he a bad great. look. But he's ripped. He, he looks like he could be an extra on The Sopranos. You might have to go to his real name, Hannah. Does he does he shave his head? Or does he try to keep what he has? Oh, well, he's he's full on shaved. Good, good. He made that decision. At least he's shaving his head. He's not holding on to what he has, like yourself or. Just kidding. Sorry. Are you going to be bald? No. I'm Your probably... forehead's getting high, though, bro. It's always been high. It was normal. Oh. Huh. Part also part of the problem is I stopped going to. Whoa. The... <laughs> put it up to the. Put it up to the screen. Let me see. Oh, yeah, with, pleasure, see. with pleasure. With <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's oh like a God. little Canadian Joe Rogan. He's like, hey, I heard that kid who got stabbed. Are you talking about? Do you like do you like his uh earring? <laughs> oh, it's not where you would think an earring would be. It looks like <laughs> Let me see again. Let me see one more time. It looks like he just that's the earring. <laughs> Heard that kid. Oh my gosh. Also, when he says, "I heard that kid who got stabbed," heard he was asking for it. I was like, "Asking to get stabbed." It, just what a horrible, it? mean thing to say. God, Liberty should have just. I wish Liberty hulked out a little better. When she was started punching him, he was just smiling. Yeah, Britt said the same thing. She was like, "I wish she had gotten one really good punch in." I wish she had Edward Scissorhands when she was pitching, punching him. She's like, and then she stabs him a million times. Yeah, just chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Let's jump to Spinner. I have no notes, the, by the way. At the doctor. Of nothing. Oh, I, I missed, I didn't do notes either this week. Um, Are we just not going to talk about the Darcy? We'll get there. All right. Yeah. We're going to talk, we're touched, gonna talk touched, about touched. the glove on the doctor. Uh-huh. Yeah. When she puts the glove on, Hannah, what is her job now? To touch his balls. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Hannah. To check for irregularities. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. there is one. She's got not great bedside manner. It's not terrible, but I do think when she leaves, she's like, it could just be tumors. <laughs> like that was not the move. Could be a cyst. Could, could be, be assist, but could be tumors. But she follows that up, I believe, by saying, you know, it's not... I don't remember, actually. I need to shut my mouth. She reminds me of Amy Poehler for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, kind of like maybe an early Amy Poehler character, maybe. It's kind of a weird-looking Amy Poehler. I, this is I the would... first we've also learned that Spinner's dad is dead, and he died because of cancer, yes? Exactly, and this is the first time we see his mom, and I love yeah. her. But where's Kendra? <laughs> so we never have known this about Spinner's father until no. this episode. No. But They've never, want... We've never seen him. So for all intents and purposes, Kendra is gone. Why didn't we erased. ask Shane Kippel about Kendra? What I happened think to we Kendra? did. I think what he did was he just say? Like that. He's like, I don't know. I feel like we did. No, that doesn't did. help us. I don't think there's I mean, an answer. All those kids' answers is going to be like, well, I want to go back to school. Yeah. 
so I, I got off the program it would i don't think there's any thought like to the writing as if like the kid wanted to leave they're just like all right you can leave you know but that was with like original degrassi i guess wiley he's like i'm not coming back and they're like oh thank god <laughs> we didn't know what to do with you anyway bye bye you you screwed up the, the speech about the television programs you like to watch. And that was it. That, that was, was his, it. Uh, that was his last chance. Last last hurrah. Oh, Ken. G- oh. Jimmy asks Spinner, why didn't you call me back? Because he's curious how the doctor's appointment goes. Yeah, what, is, what does Spinner say? Oh, there was a... The, he was like, there was a big, gigantic guy who ate a big thing of donuts. And then there was a guy who smelled like horse piss and something else. At the doctor's office? That's what he said? That's what he says. And then Jimmy's like, oh, but what about your appointment? And he's like, oh, I might have testicular cancer. Horse piss and and something else. And when he says that, what does Jimmy say? I think he's he's definitely concerned. He's sad, sad, but Spinner's like being positive. And then he says something which I would never say, which is uh how many 18 year olds get cancer which i feel like it's just like famous yeah last that was words. His, yeah his defense mechanism of that the bullies bef- before that or during that uh conversation the bullies show up what do they say what does demarco say to spinner does he want to fight him or do they like schedule a fight this is the end of it right uh let me see where we're at we're we're like three quarters through. No, he so says. So Jimmy, Jimmy asks them, asks Spinner, why didn't you call me? And then, like, within seconds, the four bullies are there. Well, they're yeah. bullying Toby, right? Or is that? I think they I just shoulder check him. They like push yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Spinner's it? like, wrong day, wrong guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wrong yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. And then uh, they're like, what are you going to do? And he doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Hotelakis is there, right? Yeah, and she's like watching him. And you're right; she does look good. Now that I'm remembering. Also, during that fight with Danny Van Zant, I remember a guy like filming with a flip phone. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, that's gonna be high res." He was that's doing good. it like a real low hold too, like by his waist. What's the uh, what's that website where all that stuff goes up? World Star. Star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> world star i love that when like fights break out people are just like world star yeah. also i think more people at this school should be concerned that spinner is like limping out of every situation he's nobody in. is noticing that nobody nobody seemed to notice it during the fight either why is the little guy not in the rest of this episode he probably he's... was like i i can make more money at mcdonald's I he can't. kicks I'm it sorry, off. Don't so, hate me. He kicks off the episode, and he doesn't come back. Maybe no. I know for a fact. I would know if I was seeing him, and I. You I, know what? It was a missed opportunity. Mm. It's for him to be the baby daddy. That was so good. <laughs> god. Oh my god! All right. All Spinner's right, let's, playing let's, with let's, Jane. Let's hold on. Hold on. Let's just get into this C plot. Darcy okay. C-plot. You're gonna call that C? I think that's B. No, totally C. Testicular cancer is B. What's A? What's A. Well, okay. Testis testicular cancer is A. The street thugs at Degrassi is oh, B. Oh, okay. Darcy is C. Okay. Okay. Darcy's causing a ruckus in class, right? Yeah, she's she's getting a little freaky. Detention. She has to clean windows with Derek and Danny. Yeah. She doesn't want Miss Sylvia to know. She, she asks Snake. Bite me to Snake, too. Yeah. Ooh. The that way she fun. kicks that bucket of soapy water was amazing. And then threw yeah. the soaking wet sponge. It was a real against, good... Against the locker? Why didn't Snake stop her and say, clean that up? Snake is a weak <laughs> man. She's He's weak and she's like on suicide watch. Yeah. But he probably doesn't know she's on suicide watch. Oh, he no, knows. He, he does. Does he? How would he, he know? He does because 
I think Miss Sauve has. makes her come in to apologize, and he's like, "If you're on suicide watch," but maybe uh, Miss Sauve right. told him after the detention thing. Yeah, he he shouldn't know. He shouldn't know. That's again, Sauve is a terrible therapist. <laughs> maybe maybe they let her teachers know. No. Uh, what is? Or maybe is, maybe he just knows because when a kid tries to kill themselves at school. I think he knows. I think, yeah. yeah, and she probably had to be out for like a week too. The conversation with Darcy and Snake, this is the two of them, they're both yelling, what's going on? Well, this is when she reveals that she's been raped. Yes. And uh, oh. classic Snake look. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? what? You're right. Yep. What? Yeah. what? And then, or, or yeah. Classic snake look of what? And then I just saved a woman from drowning. Look. And then I'm now I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. He's always crying. If they could have somehow pulled off Kendra showing up in that doctor's office, it would have been Degrassi like lore. It would have, yeah, it would have been. It would have been amazing, but with a different Kendra. She's at Wasega Beach. No way. She's not with Sega Beach. Hell yeah, she's, she's at with Sega Beach. She's not really with Sega Beach material, but that's she's working in that is. jet ski shop at mm. Wasega Beach. Yeah, true. I could see that. With the deaf kid. With the deaf kid and Amy's just... Amy's broken down van, chlamydia van is behind it. She's doing she's working like the cashier at the jet ski shop. I Amy? No, Kendra. Kendra, I see yeah. Kendra. Yeah. And Aunt Sally's the manager. Ooh, or is she silent owner? I don't know. Mm. Oh, silent owner's good. She just shows up like for fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe she has like a rich she, husband she, now. It's on the young male employees. Yeah, mm -hmm. Towers is the person that's fixing up the jet skis. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. When the doctor tells Spinner that it's cancer, I like the close up on the lips. It's kind of like moving, and Spinner's is like in a fuzzy haze. You know, like what cancer, cancer. What? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. It was a good artsy kind of a shot. Yeah. Now, what's the the conversation now? Like the peaceful conversation between Darcy and Snake? Are they? Is he talking to her about the rape and saying, you know, you need help or anything? What What's that all about? Yeah. He is. Same oh, way. he is. Um, they're also in the courtyard, which is a no. They're they're in they're right outside computer lab. Yeah, but I think it's that's like where the courtyard is. courtyard is. is. And it's Jeez. like a twelve by twelve foot concrete slab that I think goes on to be the J T York Memorial Garden. Oh, <laughs> but it Do truly you... is just a a room outside. What? Do you think these are the seeds that have been planted into Darcy uh, where she's starting to be attracted to Snake? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who couldn't be? Anybody else? You know what I just watched um, at my friend's house last last night, the night before? Um, we watched the episode where Snake um, is kicked out of the house and then they have that stripper over the really ugly stripper and she's like you look like my husband <laughs> <laughs> oh. do you like when they steal toby's scarf yeah you should let them steal it i'm trying to see besides johnny demarco who's who's playing keep away is it moose is it moose i think it's baby daddy uh, oh i love the jab Okay, spinner's jab, spinner's jab, <laughs> and then the left hook. Yeah, the baby daddy's. It was there. like a a sharp fist that went up. Jane is not happy. She looks a little disappointed. She think... doesn't look unhappy. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but spinner looks pissed. I like it. He it, It's kind of like um, the rage of like a early X Men. Mm. Love that. Like a wolverine ish 
Uh, Chris Candy just got a role in a new Michael Keaton movie. He's going to play a homeless man. Oh, cool. Love it. It's just a small role, but it's with uh, Cyclops from the X Men movie. Will be in it with Michael Keaton. What's Our little Chris name? Candy. Oh, the uh, he was in uh, Thirty Rock too. He was Liz Lemon's love interest. Yes. But I don't it's know. Gonna kill me. We gotta. We gotta say it before we leave. I don't have a phone anymore. I have no. Why is it dead? Oh no! I just put it under something. You carry. Uh, <laughs> you put it under something. It's out of commission now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cyclops. IMDb. Cyclops. I was X-Men. actually. You're right. And his name, my guess is. I have no idea. Do you know who we're talking about, right, Rick? Yeah, of course. James Marsden. Yeah. Marsden. Did you watch Handsome, River's Edge? The other Handsome day? Man. I didn't. Mm. Sorry. It's on HBO Max, though. Maybe oh, I'll watch it tonight. Maybe. maybe everything's, on H- everything's on HBO Max. Not is everything. Showtime is Showtime Max? Do they have Showtime Max? Is that I an app? Sh- I think they have they, a Showtime app. On, Hu- on Hulu. You on can Hulu, get like, yeah. Yeah. Short time. There's just too many apps. It's ridiculous. If I could just do it over again, I would have no nothing except YouTube. No, I'd but I'd pay for nothing. You can get everything for free. Tubi, Freevee. I'd have Amazon Prime and that's it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Next week, we're gonna finish part two of Death or Glory. I can't believe I didn't know the song. Death or Glory. <laughs> that was crazy. That was like we switched bodies. And um, Rick, you're in town for a while. What's up? Yeah, no, I don't leave. Okay. No, what, I don't when leave do you leave next? January. January. You're you have nothing. I have weekend stuff, but with with who? Streetlight. Streetlight. One Jeff then. Ooh. Okay. I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, until then, have a oh. Also, if you listen to this podcast, if you could leave a any kind of review on like if you listen to like Apple or Spotify, just uh, rate it. It's supposed to help our algorithm. Oh to, like, yeah, be able to get more people to if they're looking like at TV shows or whatever, something in that same demographic maybe will be put on their like suggested list. We've never asked that for four plus years. We've never asked you to do this. We've never asked for anything really. We've never. We don't even put on ads on this no. which is, and mike sent out stickers i sent out so many stickers so if you could just leave a review on apple pods even if you don't listen to it on apple pods leave a review even, even if, you, even don't if you don't listen to it <laughs> well if they're listening right now then obviously they oh, they made no. it this far but uh spotify that'd be great if you could leave a review there and if you don't watch us on youtube if you could Follow us on YouTube. That would be cool, too. Mm. In Love with Spike. Um, the podcast is called I'm in Love with Girl Named Spike, a Degrassi podcast. I've been saying it for four years and two weeks. What a funny to plug the podcast at the end of our podcast. Sure. <laughs> you gotta Why get not? to the end. Uh, really. Uh, well, I just want to see who makes it. The diehard People who make it to the end, it's exciting. I was excited I so many it. people emailed you. That was great. I was excited that you were excited. I wasn't excited that I had to send out so many sticker packs, mm-hmm. especially well, to Canada. Your, that was your own doing. That was my own doing. I wanted to. I like, but I like doing giveaways. It makes me feel. Did somebody good. actually I, try to get a free house from you? Like, well, they're just kidding. Okay, Two people okay. emailed me about houses. They're like, "Oh," and oh. you know, they're kidding. I said, "Yeah, thirty bucks or less, I will buy it. If you can find a house for thirty bucks, I'm totally, I'll totally buy it." Yeah yeah hell yeah okay i'll talk to you guys next week have a good night or i'm sure rick you're going to sleep soon and yeah. i don't know how late you stay up anymore and um it's brit's either. birthday it's brit's birthday oh man. yeah brit's but birthday. she's definitely i bet you a million dollars she's asleep yeah but you just got poker to wake her up you'd be like happy hey birthday. it's your happy birthday. birthday well right. you should do that just just to say happy birthday and then let her go and a little sweet kiss on the cheek you know you should, good yeah, night what you should do should uh get a cork cork burn the end of it make a mustache oh yeah 
glasses. No, 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 no. <laughs> just just a cork mustache. Go to bed. And then when <laughs> when Britt wakes up, she'll have a real surprise. Damn. <laughs> All right, guys. Say happy birthday to Britt. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. All right, bye. bye.